FanDuel is letting you bet on every game of the tournament. Whether you're betting on a big upset or a one seed, it's time to go dancing on America's number one sportsbook. And right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets if your first $5 bet wins. That's 200 bucks to use on point spreads, money lines. You can even pick who's going to win it all. Just visit FanDuel.com slash UCSS and bet on college hoops until they cut down the nets. So, Bo, there's plenty of guys out there that are still available. Yep. Some big names out there, too. Of all the guys left on the board, and I'll start with you. Yeah. Who's the number one free agent available you would want to see A.B. and the Browns sign? I'm going to give you an answer in a second. Let me tell everybody that uh, former Browns uh, running back, Dearness Johnson, just re-signed in Jacksonville. Jacksonville. I actually – I got two guys for you, Mike, and they're both – have played for the Bengals. Oh, my God. Tyler Boyd. And DJ Reader. Now, I don't know that the Browns are going to do that. DJ Reader, I just said you can't spend a ton of money on defensive tackle. Right. Now I'm saying DJ Reader. So maybe maybe he's not, he may, I don't know. I thought DJ Reader was going to have to sign like a prove it contract because yeah. he's older and he's yeah. coming off a serious injury. So I thought you could get him for cheaper. But because the money's been so crazy, maybe I'm wrong about that. But I like the idea of a one year, seven, eight million dollar deal for Tyler Boyd. Now you're talking, and you take a, a guy from your division opponent. Tyler Boyd, whereas Jerry Judy, has got great speed. He's a great route runner. What is his struggles? Inconsistency, right? Drops a lot of balls. Tyler Boyd is as good as any player in the league at wide receiver at catching the ball. He's not a dynamic receiver, but he's going to be where you need him to be, and he's going to catch the ball almost every time when you throw it to him. He would be a great second security blanket with Njoku, I mean, man, the Browns would go if they got <laughs> Tyler Boyd again. He's, listen, he's getting old. He had his worst year last year, but he's still a guy that can get you as a third receiver, seven, eight hundred yards if they're throwing the ball a ton. I think so. Uh, that would be my guy. Would be Tyler Boyd. I like DJ Reader, but I think it would end up costing too much. I should have known you were going to take Reader because that would have been my guy. Was, yeah, was Re Reader. And yeah. there's there's a point though where the money dries up, and I don't know where it, that it might is. be it. And yeah. we're, I think we're getting to that. This isn't like baseball where the top guys can stay out four months right, and sign right, a right. massive deal. Like when the money's gone, the money's gone, and it feels like let's wait and see how the rest of the day plays out. But it feels like we're getting down to those margin guys now and the one year contract guys. Right. If you could get him on a one year deal, I would do that in a second. And I just said, you know, I love Mohurst and the Mohurst signing. But if you compare Reader with Tomlinson in the middle, oh my God, yeah, he is a premier run stopper. Absolutely, one of the best in the game. I, I, put him in a Schwartz system. Yeah. That would be the guy. Yeah. That's the guy I'd have a highlight and a circle around. Yeah, and and who knows? I don't I don't know their priorities and and where their money line is. And and with all of these deals, we have to see just what the initial report is and what the actual money is 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 very different a lot of times. Sure. And I do think that they're going to want to have some rollover in the cap into next year as well. It's the way that they do this. So I don't know how much they have left really to spend or how much they really want to spend. But, man, you talk about being able to injure an opponent by taking one oh, of the yeah. best guys. Yeah, because the Bengals want him back, I think. I, I'm, I'm sure they do. Yeah, yeah, Listen, yeah. do you know it was a huge difference when he was in the game, when oh, he was yeah. out the game? With like His Nick, entire when, Bengals when Nick career Chubb was that. there. Oh, yeah. Like, when we went, when Nick Chubb played the Bengals, when he was in the game, Nick Chubb really couldn't get going. When he was out of the game, Nick Chubb could do whatever he wanted to do. So, DJ Reader is definitely the number one guy. Now, if you want to get crazy and you want to do some, some wild stuff, uh, a guy that you can get, and I, I don't know how much his price tag is. I don't think it would be much. If you want to get crazy, Jason, now this is crazy. Hey, all right? I root for chaos. Okay, you can trade Greg Newsom for as high as the suitor he can be, and you could go sign a guy like Jordan Lewis from Dallas, who's a nickel by heart, who's really been productive in the nickel position. And I don't think he will demand that much if you want to do like a one or two year deal. Wow. That's just some craziness talk. So shout out to Jay Lou. <laughs> And uh, one other guy, uh, so your guy is DJ Reader, though? Yes. Okay. Uh, one other guy I think is important for the Browns to sign is Corey Bjorkes. He ain't signed? No. What they doing? No, he's a free agent. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. they need a punter. Yeah. He was really good for them last yeah. year. Yeah. I saw Tommy Townsend, who was one of the best punters in the league, sign. <laughs> the punt uh, guy is board. with the Chiefs, right? Yeah, the punt guy's going to – he the got a job. I just saw a year. kicker sign, so it seems like it's the specialist yeah, 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 up yeah. now. So that would be – Mike, it's you got one that we haven't term. mentioned? I like Reader. Hey, Steve, pull back uh, 181 real quick. The Eric graphic we just had up. I just was looking at some of the biggest names left. I understand the Browns probably not shopping in that market, but just there are some names out here that are still 
available. A couple more on top of these guys. You have Daniil Hunter, Patrick Queen, Eric Armstead, Henry Reeder, a few other names, Calvin Ridley, <laughs> Kendall Fuller, the defensive back. Calvin Ridley, was, uh, to no. my knowledge, I mean, if it's happened in the last second, I haven't nope. seen it. Tyron Smith, the left tackle. Chase Young still out there. Uh, Josh Uche was a guy at edge I thought the Browns would be interested in. They went with Zedarius, so he's probably not a possibility. Marquise Brown still unsigned. Darnell Mooney, by the way, signed a three-year, $39 million deal with the Falcons a few minutes ago. Exact wow. same contract that Gabe Davis got with Jacksonville. Well, so, Gabe Davis and, and Darnell Mooney, who have not very been very productive. Yet. I mean, think about it. With Jerry Judy getting $13 million, he's better than those two guys. Yes. Might, and it's only Mike one Williams year. never got released. Did he, he did not, or at least he hasn't at this point. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. We talked a lot about Calvin Ridley and Marquise Brown. Those guys, usually by 24 hours, most of the big guys have signed. Yeah. Those guys must not, like, because they should get more money than those two guys who signed for $13 million a year. Maybe maybe they're shooting too high. And I don't the know. Running back and receiver markets flipped all of a sudden I when still, we were looking. I still think that there would be some type of big splash. Because I feel like A.B., like, I, the Judy thing was a – Splash, but I don't think it was like a kaboom. Like he usually drop a kaboom. Maybe it's maybe he does trade for like Joey Bosa or Khalil Mack or DeForest oh, Buckner wow. was a guy that they was looking at yeah. years ago, and I'm sure he's on the last year of his deal. So maybe he do make some type of trade like. But that. I can't imagine they at this point because they re-signed Zadarius. I can't imagine them doing something yeah, for that's true. Right. You know, they still have Ogbo, and they still got Alex Wright. I and think, Alex yeah, Wright, they probably I, said I, that. a tackle mate. I mean, in terms of making a splash, a tack, at it this would point, be a tackle. It would be a tackle. Yeah, that would be it. I mean, yeah. where else could they make a splash? They're not gonna. Are they gonna spend on a big on a linebacker? They're gonna sign. Uh, what's, who's the Patrick linebacker? Patrick Queen. Yeah, like they're gonna go big on Patrick Queen. No. I'm surprised he's still out there. I am too. Because yeah. he had a really good year too. There was a lot. There was reports that he was gonna go to Seattle, but you know, and Clowney's still out there. I mean, I guess they could make a splash and sign Derrick Henry, but I, I just can't imagine that's gonna no, happen. No, I don't. You know, I, I was mostly joking. Yeah, if they sign. You know, Ridley or Marquise Brown or even Tyler Boyd to go with what they've already then done, and that they're, would be. But you know, I don't. I don't think they view Elijah Moore like the rest of the world do. Like I don't. They think look at him as a legit third yeah, receiver. I think. I but, think they look at him as a legit receiver. Period. Yeah. Because of okay, what they've yeah. seen in practice. I don't mind him as a three. He I mean, nobody. No, I can live with him as a three. I'd rather have somebody better. If, if Cooper was to leave and your two receivers next year was Elijah Moore and Jerry Judy, with Jerry Judy, would you be okay with it? No. 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 Now, Jerry Judy has a big year this year. Or I might feel differently because he has potential. It's just hysterical to me. Look at what they gave up for Elijah Moore. And we're like, yeah, he's a decent third receiver. Yeah. And look at what they gave up for Jerry Judy. And he's a number two. Yeah, that was.